played about an hour of this long-awaited sequel from Square Enix and Disney, and it was like reuniting with old friends you first met over a decade ago. Yes, we've been treated to plenty of gorgeous gameplay footage of Kingdom Hearts 3 over the last few months, but hearing the English voiceovers is when all that childhood nostalgia really hits home. Sora, Goofy and Donald sharing a chuckle, Ham and Rex cracking corny jokes, it's all a constant reminder of how playful, fun and enchanting it feels to explore these beloved Disney and Pixar worlds in a playable JRPG. There were two main areas on display for this demo, a brief clash against the colossal titan in Hercules' Mount Olympus and a treacherous trip through a toy store in the Toy Story world entitled Toy Box. Devotees who completed Kingdom Hearts 2.8 will know that Hercules' realm is the first stop on this long journey through Disney and Pixar's cinematic universes which also features worlds based on Monsters Inc, Big Hero 6 and Tangled, among unnamed others. And even in this brief introductory fight against the Mountain King, it's immediately apparent that Kingdom Hearts 3 plays just like its PS2 predecessors, for better or worse, depending on your familiarity with the series. Long-term fans should be pretty comfortable with its unique action RPG combat by now, where your basic attacks and magic spells are all mapped to an ever-present D-pad menu, and comboed hits unlock the potential for flashy special moves. For those who didn't grow up with these games, may be taken aback by the touchy third-person camera and rudimentary lock-on system, as well as Sora's movement whenever you're trying to jump to a precise spot or dodge incoming fire. While the controls and gameplay are just like you remember, the graphics are a colossal step up from your fond but ageing memories. The series has always showcased vibrant colours and eye-catching character designs, but it's in the finer details that Kingdom Hearts 3 really stands out. Things like rain pelting puddles amidst the slick rock of Mount Olympus, the lifelike scuffs on Han's snout, and the careful crimps in Woody's limbs. Even a minuscule copyright Disney Pixar logos stamped on Buzz's butt. Just about everything, save for a few grainy textures and some blurriness on distant objects occasionally spotted on the Xbox One version, looks pristinely polished, just like you'd expect when cutscene connoisseurs team up with monolithic movie makers. The playable section of the Toy Story world, which felt pretty dang great and was reportedly a mere 30% of that area, sees Sora, Donald and Goofy shrunken down into action figure form, teaming up with Woody and Buzz to investigate a heartless sparked disturbance at Galaxy Toys, a three-story emporium that's the stuff of childhood dreams. But before that, you get a chance to explore a stunningly spot-on recreation of Andy's room. Poking around the nooks and crannies often turns up chests housing useful items, but it's also a reward in itself to simply run around freely in these environments you've seen countless times on screen before. If the brief snippet in Andy's room is any indication, you'll also... It you'll also be treated to fully voiced dialogue, even outside of cutscenes. And we were delighted to hear the characters actually talking during optional bits of chit-chat. Square Enix has recruited some excellent soundalikes in place of Tom Hanks, but we're certain that we're going to get some genuine articles as well, like Wallace Shawn as Rex and John Ratzenberger as Ham. And, unless our ears deceive us, that might actually be Tim Allen doing Buzz Lightyear's voice. Levels are structured in a pleasantly familiar fashion. You have all the freedom to explore the spacious area at your own pace, and every so often you'll step across the right spot that triggers a bunch of varied heartless enemies to spawn in. After some brief scuffles around Andy's front yard and down his street, the gang made it to Galaxy Toys for the real fight against a mysterious hooded figure who reveals himself to be another incarnation of Xenonaut. Speaking of, you can probably expect Kingdom Heart 3's story to have just as many mind-warping twists and turns as all the games that got us here. The main gimmick in Galaxy Toys is the Gigas Mech, a giant robot action figure that saw a compiler once the Heartless Driver has been neutralised. And it's a real treat getting to dash around in a big old robot, firing lasers and punching enemies in a first-person perspective. And it also helps keep the combat feel varied so you don't succumb to mere button mashing. A new mechanic that helps spice up the combat even further is the introduction of attractions. These are brightly lit super moves modelled after Disneyland's many rides. They may not bear their exact names, but it was always a treat to bust out the big magic mountain train, go for a spin on the mad teacups, or take aim aboard the buzz-inspired shooting ride. 
There's also the return of the spectacular Link specials, which tag in guest characters like Wreck-It Ralph, Ariel and the adorable sprites from Dream Drop Distance. And even in those moments where you can't trigger some dazzling animation, there are plenty of Keyblade transformations to activate via continuous attacks, like the Hyper Hammer that has a rocket for a mallet, the spinning twin yo-yos and the spell flinging Mirage Staff. Our limited time with Kingdom Hearts 3 was, in a word, delightful. Kingdom Hearts has always been a series where the people who love it really love it, and even those who don't can plainly see the appeal of exploring such a meticulously built, splendidly presented crossover of worlds and characters that shaped our childhood. And from what we've seen so far, Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be everything you've been waiting for. You'll be able to see for yourself when it debuts on PS4 and Xbox One sometime in 2018, and you can expect a final release date to be announced at long last during E3 this year. Let us know your thoughts about Kingdom Hearts 3 in the comments below. Click the boxes on the left for more content from us. And don't forget to 